I'm trying not to get swept away here. Let's fight it. Okay, I'm, nope. I'm going the wrong direction. What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. So we are currently in my basement right now. We're going striper fishing tomorrow morning and I don't have a rod other than this rod that I snapped in that last striper fishing video, if you saw that. It was my first time fishing with this rod. Took a cast after catching my first fish with the rod and it just snapped, snapped on the cast it. using this like two and one eighth ounce SP minnow bullet. So in this video, we're going to be fixing this rod. I also said I would tell you guys why it was a dumb idea to get this particular rod in a review, but I realized that I wouldn't be able to say much about the rod in the review since I only fished with it once and it broke like right away. So I'm just gonna show you guys now why it was a dumb idea. This is a telescoping rod. Um, it telescopes down from eight feet into two feet. This, this part even goes down too, but that's just gonna go in it since it broke. But it telescopes down from eight feet into two feet. It's made by Daiwa, so I was thinking if anyone can make a good telescoping rod, it's going to be Daiwa, but yeah, it broke the first time fishing, so we're gonna be fixing it in today's video. I don't really know how to fix a fishing rod, but I watched some videos and we're gonna do our best. So these are the items right here we're gonna be using to fix my rod. We're gonna start off with this flag that I found in someone's yard and we're gonna cut it to about four inches. It's gonna give the rod a good backbone. It bends just with the rod and it'll snap right back into place. And then we're gonna go ahead take some braid, tie it to that, and then start wrapping it around where the rod broke. And next, we will take some super glue, super glue it so it holds it together for now, and then go over all of that with some epoxy. I'm probably also gonna go over all the joints to just make it a one piece rod with the epoxy, um, and just coat places where it seems necessary. But we're gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna show you guys the final product and then we're gonna fish with it. Hopefully this all works out. I've never done this before, but we got this, we got this. Let's go. This is the final product right here. I epoxied half the rod. So from this guide through the end has a small coat of epoxy over it. We're going to be testing it out this morning. It's dried for six hours now. I finished at midnight last night and it's six in the morning. So we're just gonna be casting into this current. This is actually the same spot where I broke my rod and the tide's coming in right now. We're just gonna see if we can throw it out there, get a few fish on it, and hopefully the rod won't break. Hopefully it'll hold up. It might look a little weird, but hopefully it'll hold up to some fish and we'll be able to use it. So let's go. You see, it's not, it's not looking the best right there. It's giving, the, the tip's giving it a little bit of a dangle. Okay, first cast right here. I hope that already broke. I'm not sure if the epoxy didn't dry completely or it's just that I have no clue what I'm doing. But yeah, first cast right there, kind of broke. We'll see if we can get some here though. It's not the worst. It's still, it's still cast kind of nice. There's a fit. Ooh. On the SP minnow bullet, that second cast right there. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. That guy just jumped right in the air, right in the current. Let's see if we can get him in here. The rod, I can't say looks the best, but it's, it's holding up. Come on. Oh. Just a nice little guy right there. Oh, he's swimming right to me. Second cast right there, got this nice little schoolie on that SP minnow bullet. Rod held up fine. No, actually, it didn't really. Okay, you ready, bud? Let's see. There he goes. Woo! Yeah, it's kinda, it's kinda just broken now, but Hopefully it can hang on there and it doesn't fall off because 
I think we got a couple more fish. That wasn't a bad cast at all. Doesn't look great. It really improves the sensitivity, I think, here. Um, but we're gonna have to go back to the drawing board, try and think of a better way of fixing this. I'm gonna give it one more shot before I get a new rod. So, hopefully this next idea works. But it's gonna need a lot more support than I gave it. Oh, there's another one. Oh, that rod looks good. Look at it, it bends perfectly now. <laughs> this guy's pretty small though. Come here, butt. He just swiped the end of it. Okay, now we got hooked by the front of it. There he goes. Oh, there's one way out there. Way out in the current there. These SP minnow bullets are just so fun. I don't like SP minnows as much. I still love SP minnows, but I always have the problem when I'm like, when I'm jerking them and they rise to the surface is kind of jump. Since this has no bill, I don't have that problem. So I like these guys a lot more. It's fast sinking. I don't have to worry about it floating. Um, so I really like these SP minnow bullets. They're a lot of fun. And I think they're perfect for like surf fishing. There you go. Oh, there's one. Oh my, don't pull me off this rock. This one's a little bigger, I think, unless I hooked him in the side. Yeah, he's hooked a little on the side here. Nah, he's just hooked in the side. Yeah, this guy swiped the tail of the SP minnow and then got the front hook stuck in his side. So I was kind of just pulling him in from the side there. There he goes. The water's getting high here quickly. I'm gonna pull my keys out of my pocket. Holy. I'm trying not to get swept away here. Let's fight it. Okay, I'm, nope. I'm going the wrong direction. <laughs> this is why you work out for fishing. I've skipped way too many leg days. Now it's paying. Whoa. We made it out of there. Time to move down somewhere by where the boats are. I don't like fishing there as much because you gotta avoid buoys, but it's just, it's too hard to fish here right now. The fishing died down a lot here. We've been fishing in around where these boats are. It's approaching high tide and around high tide, the fish tend to move out of here. But when we first showed up, we fished way up there. The current was just really fast. Casting into that, we were able to get four out of there on this SP minnow bullet. I love this thing. It's so much fun to use. Um, I'm sad the rod broke. I'm not surprised, but I'm sad. I'm gonna have to figure something else out here. I might try to fix it again, we'll see. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please like, subscribe. We got some cool striping videos planned in the future, probably going down to the Cape in the next couple weeks. I just gotta figure out a rod situation for that. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.